Buenos dias and welcome back to another video, my friends. I hope you're staying safe and I hope you're staying healthy. Today on the channel, I wanna talk about an extension tube I just purchased for my Canon EOS R. It's an RF mount extension tube made by JJC. This is it right here, yes. Comes in this cool little pouch that uh, I was really surprised by because all the other ones that I've purchased before that aren't really RF mounts, they are actually EF mount uh, extension tubes such as this one here. Um, these have served me fine. However, I wanted something specific for my RF lenses and I finally found one. This is fairly new. I think it came out maybe like five months ago and I didn't know about it. This is an RF mount extension tube. It comes in 16 millimeter and 11 millimeter extension. So they can be used individually or mounted together to give you further extension on your RF lenses. Can be mounted on any RF lens that you have currently and they work pretty good. I quickly ran these extension tubes through a test using my RF 50 millimeter 1.2 lens. I shot this lens at about a foot away from a yellow flower and this is without the macro lens of course. And then I went ahead and adapted the macro lens and this is the shot I got. And you can see, you can have a lot of fun with these extension tubes and you can get that much closer to your subject while in focus. So I wanted to have a bit more fun with these extension tubes. So I went and plucked a couple flowers off a neighboring wall and brought them back into my yard and just started to manipulate them a little bit. And I wanted to do a little bit of focus stacking. And so these are some of the results that I had today. So what'd you think? Those weren't the best images in the world, but I had a lot of fun shooting them. And check out the detail. Check this out. Let me zoom in here. So what you see here on the screen is not grain. That's just part of the flower and whatever type of growth it may have on it. Can you actually see down into the pistol, I think it's called? I mean, I'm not totally wrong. I'm not sure, don't hold me to that. I can't remember any of my flowering vernacular, but um, look how clear that is after focus stacking and actually using the extension tubes to get in there. And in fact, look at the detail here on the chair. The chair doesn't actually look like that. If we were to zoom out on the chair, it's a very smooth and not really noticeable braid like you see here. That's how close we actually are. So that came out really cool. Let's go ahead and take a look at another one. Let's take a look at the water droplets. Yeah, just the detail is phenomenal. Right here, we're getting a little bit of the purple flowers that I think were down below. But nonetheless, uh, just a lot of fun. And even developing a nice crop on this, if you just wanted the water droplets, something to this effect here would be kind of cool uh, to print. So this is just something you can do for fun if you have the Canon EOS R. You can now get these RF mount extension tubes. If not, I have these EF mount extension tubes also and this brand also makes, or a similar brand to this, I think this one is sold out now, but a similar brand to this that I'll mark them both down in the description below can actually be utilized with a lot of different other uh, camera brands such as Nikon, Fuji, um, I know I'm forgetting somebody. Who am I forgetting? I mean, I'm forgetting, Sony. I'm not forgetting about you, Sony. Anyways, you get me. Short video today, I appreciate you watching. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed. I am hunting down 1,000 subscribers. I'd love for you to join the Buenos Dias Imagery fam. I would really appreciate that. Like this video if you liked any part of it. Ring that bell to notify you of new videos. Guys, that's gonna do it for today. Till the next one, peace.